workflows are a set of repetitive tasks and actions carried out in a business process. This sequence of tasks is predictable and can be automated to maintain a uniform process across your organization. You can configure workflows in Biggin to save yourself hours of mundane, repetitive tasks. Let's take a look at the topics that we will be discussing today. First, what are workflows? Second, the components of a workflow. And third, how to configure a workflow. Workflows in Biggin help you automate routine actions in your business process when specific criteria are matched. You can automatically assign tasks, send emails, update fields, and add tags to records that meet a particular condition. For example, you can automate the process of sending an email to the customer when their contact is added to your Biggin account, or automatically create a task for a deal owner whenever a deal is created. And this doesn't just save you time and effort. By streamlining these routine tasks, you can create uniform engagement with all of your prospects without breaking a sweat. And you'll never miss following up with a prospect. There are three building blocks of each workflow, the trigger, the condition, and the action. The trigger is an action that sets off the workflow automation. It is the first step in the workflow, and it can be anything from a deal being created, a contact being edited, or even a reaching a task's due date. In Biggin, you can trigger a workflow based on a record action or a time value. There are three types of record action triggers that you can set in Biggin. When a record is created, when a record is edited, or when a record is either created or edited. Triggers based on date time can be set using any of the date time fields in the module. For example, you can create a task for the assigned user to follow up on a deal if it is inactive for longer than 15 days. Next, let's take a look at the conditions. A condition specifies which records the workflow applies to. Two types of conditions can be set in Biggin. The condition can be customized to match only specific records or it can be set to apply to all records in that module. And the last step in a workflow is the action. Actions are the functions that are executed when a workflow is triggered. For example, a tag can be added to the records when the workflow is executed, or an email can be sent to a user when a new contact is added. Actions can be set to execute instantly or at a scheduled time. The following actions are supported in Biggin sending emails, creating tasks, updating fields, and add or removing tags. Now that we have learned about the building blocks of a workflow, let's go ahead and configure one. Let's take a look at some scenarios and how to configure workflows for them. Please note that your profile must have the workflow permission enabled for you to create, edit, or delete workflows. First up, we're going to automate the process of sending welcome emails to new customers. Go to Settings and click Workflows here. Then click the New Workflow button. Select the Contacts module from the dropdown. Now give the workflow a name. I'm going to call this Welcome Email. Then click Next. We are now on the Workflow Configuration page. First, we specify the trigger. So select the Create option, as we want to send an email whenever a new contact is created in Biggin. Under Conditions, select All Contacts, since this workflow applies to all records in the Contacts module. And finally, under Instant Actions, choose Email Notifications. Now, enter a name for this action here. Select the email recipient, which in this case is the email address in the record, and finally, associate the desired template with this action. If you haven't already created a template that's all right, we can create one from here. Click Create Template. Once the template is created, associate it with your action. Now, select the From email address from the available options. This welcome email can be sent from your email address, an organization or department email alias, the record owner's email address, or even another user's email address. Similarly, choose the email inbox that you want the customer's replies to be delivered to. 
then click Save. So now when you add a contact to your Biggin account, they will be sent a welcome email automatically. Next, let's see how to automatically add a Big Deal tag to records with deals worth more than $10,000. Click the new Workflow button. Select the Deals module from the drop-down and enter the workflow name. In the Trigger section, choose Created or Edited. Select the checkbox here so that the workflow is triggered every time a deal is edited. In Conditions, set the amount field as greater than 10,000. So, this workflow will be triggered whenever a deal is created or edited and the deal value is greater than $10,000. Under Instant Actions, select Add Tags and choose the Big Deal tag. Now click Save. Now, whenever a deal worth $10,000 or more is created, the Big Deal tag will be added to it automatically. Let's create a workflow that will automatically send an email wishing the customer a happy birthday. Click the New Workflow button, select the Contacts module, and give your workflow a name. Next, click on the Date Time option in Triggers since this workflow will be triggered on a specific date. Select the Date of Birth field from the drop-down. Please note that if you are using a custom field to capture the date of the customer's birthday, then the workflow will not be triggered. This workflow will only be triggered if you use the default Date of Birth field which is coded in the backend to validate only the month and date and ignore the year. Set the date of execution as on the date in the Date of Birth field. Enter the time that you want the workflow triggered and select this option to Every Year. Under Conditions, select All Contacts and under Instant Actions, select Email Notifications. Enter a name here, choose the recipient, associate the template, select the From and Reply to email addresses, and click Save. There you go! Now an automatic email will be sent to your customers every year on their birthday. We are going to create a workflow that will automatically create a task for the record owner and simultaneously send an email to the record owner's manager if a deal is in the not contacted stage of the pipeline for more than seven days. Head to Workflows and click the New Workflow button. Select the Deals module and enter a name for this workflow. In Triggers, choose when a deal is created or edited. Next, we are going to specify two criteria and conditions. The first criteria is that the deal stage must not be contacted. Click the plus icon here to add another condition. For the second criteria, set the last activity time as greater than seven days. You may notice this button here. When you have more than one criteria in a workflow, you can specify the logic pattern to follow using AND and OR. Use the AND operator if all of the criteria that you have added must be met by the record, and use the OR operator if only one of your criteria needs to be met for the workflow to execute. You can also use a combination of both AND and OR conditions to create your own logical expressions. Let's look at the actions now. In Instant Actions, select Email Notifications. Enter a name for the actions. Select the Deal Owner and Deal Owner's Manager as the email recipients. Associate the email template and click Save. Next, let's use Scheduled Actions to create a task for the Deal Owner that is executed 10 minutes after the workflow is triggered. Select Tasks. Enter the task name assign it to the deal owner, and you can set the due date here based on any date field. I am choosing one day after the workflow trigger date. You will also find options to notify the owner, set reminders for the task, and mark the task as a high priority. And that is how you configure workflows in your Biggin account. Let's do a quick recap of what we've covered so far. Workflows help you automate routine tasks when specified conditions are met. 
there are three components in a workflow, trigger, condition, and action. The trigger determines when a record enters the workflow. It can be based on a record action or based on the value of a date time field. The condition determines which records the workflow applies to. It can be set to apply to all records in the module or only to specific records in the module. The actions are executed on the records that meet the workflow conditions. You can create instant actions or schedule actions to occur at a later date and time. Actions you can configure for workflows in Biggin are sending email notifications, adding and removing tags, updating a field value, and creating a task. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. Write to us at support at if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video.